Welcome to this look at new mods on Farming Simulator 22 with me, Mr. Sealy P. It's Wednesday, it's the 30th of March, it's hump day. We have new mods, we have some updates. The updates are the Lizard Trailer Pack by Cashdown18 and The Fluke, the Lemken D24 by AW Modding ABP team, and the Lizard CSW300 by Red Phoenix. They've all been updated today. We have got directly in front of me the Motorex Oil Barrel and Flag by Agra Danny. 0.18 megabytes download. One slot for the barrel, two slots for the flag. These are purely decorative. Motorex was added in as one of the sponsors additions to Farming Simulator 22. So these are decorative or for storylines or whatever you want to go with. It's entirely up to you. You'll find them under build mode and under decoration. Under others, on the end, the barrel's 290, the flag is 950. Slots for one and two anyway, so one and one is uh, yeah, what you'll be looking at. Lovely, by Agra Danny. Next, we've got this. This is the US Animal Food by FIB, or FIB7. 2.38 megabytes download, 16 slots on console. It's only 40,000 to buy, which is pretty good for a production chain's building. What can you produce here? Tolmix ration and pig food for your animals. Hence, UK, uh, UK, US animal food. This is a really nicely made building, aside from what it does anyway. The detailing and the weathering, the sort of rust marks and staining and aging. and I, I like this. It looks brilliant anyway as a building in its own right. But putting in to this facility is done here. Taking out of the facility is done here under the pipe. And we've got our control over there or we can go in through our menu, which I'm going to do. So if we go up now to our production change, you'll see pig food. And then below that, you've got total mix ration. Now, you've got a few different options to choose from here. You can go for pig food for 60 pigs, pig food for 60 pigs. That makes a set kind of ration. If you look at the recipes, the pig food for 60, the first one, is using uh, corn, sunflower, canola, potato. You do need some diesel to run the factory, but a small amount, 0 0.01 for the recipe, and then you'll get your pig food out. The other one uses uh, uses sugar beet instead of potato. So the recipe is the same apart from the sugar beet and potato. So those are your two options for that. Then we go to the pig food for 120. It ups the mix. Same thing, potato or a sugar beet option. And then we go to the TMR for cows. You've got a mix there for 85 cows, a mix for 170 cows, or a mix of 255 cows. Now... I'm just going to check to my side because it does say what the productions are. If you go for the 60 on their own, if I went for that one, for example, that will produce 3,600 litres of pig food per day. If I go for the 120, and that's the same for that one, if I go for the 120, that will do 7,200 litres of pig food per day. If I go down for the TMR, the first one will do 60,000 litres per day. The second one, 120,000 litres per day. And the third one, 240,000 litres per day. But here's the cool thing. You can combine them all. Compound pig food making. So if you go for all four of the pig food productions, if I activate each one, that will produce me 21,600 litres of pig food per day. If I do the same with the cows, if I decide I'm not going to activate just one of them, I'm going to activate all three, that will produce 420,000 litres of total mix ration per day. Now you can see everything's chugging away on the right-hand side now. We've got our pig food and our total mix ration being made. These are all the inputs, corn, sunflower, canola, potatoes. Like I say, diesel doesn't require as much, so I only put a little bit in. Each one of these, I start at the top, it does actually say on the mod hub anyway, will take 500,000 litres of each crop type. I did 500,000 litres of the first two, then I went to 250,000, but then like I say the diesel, I didn't do as much. So yeah, I like the fact that when you're starting out, if you don't need to make as much pig food, you don't have to. And if you haven't got as much crop available, you don't have to. And you can, you know, reduce them, mix and match them, 
however you want to go about doing it. But I like that fact you can add them all together and have that compound mix of all of it being done and getting much more produced. Absolutely brilliant. Fantastic bit of kit, that. You'll find it. Under build mode, under production, under factories. And it's that one just there. Like I say, 40 grand. What's not to like? Hey, what is not to like about that? What was I saying on my Carmston episode today about making pig food? Brilliant. So there we go. That's by FIB or FIB 7. 16 slots, which will come down. Next, we've got this. This is the fuel tank by Mickey Mapper. Now, this was showing yesterday as a mod. Then it disappeared off the mod hub. Then it's appeared again today saying update, although there's no update. So anyway, it's here today, so we'll go for it. 0 0.90 megabytes download. Three slots on console. This is one that you can either get someone else to fill up for you so you can pay for it to be done in various different increments if you want to or you can bring your own fuel and you can put your own fuel into it and store it this will hold 20,000 litres total and then when you want to come and collect it you come to the front here you take your fuel out pretty straightforward that one uh, you'll find this one under build mode and containers you'll see just there the lizard diesel tank 15 grand Slot count will come down from three to one. Awesome. That's by Mickey Mapper. Next, we've got this. This I liked. I really like the look of when I saw it in the mod hub. I thought, whoa, that's something a bit different. This is the loading ramp with dock leveler. 5.49 megabytes download. Five slots on console. This is by Pascal Kautz. Again, really nicely detailed. Really nicely weathered. Looks pretty cool. So we've got a standard height here. So for backing up lorries, trailers, that kind of thing. This does come with a warning, though. Because, actually, when we go to the lorry first, what we'll do is... I open this curtain side, but it doesn't matter. If we open the rear doors on the lorry, and we back it up, as it's intended to be used, I'm sure people will use it for all sorts of other stuff, and then we hop out. As you can see, you've got the... Well, I don't know if you can see. Let's go around to the light. We've got the lip of the ramp there is folded down, so what you do, you go up to here, you press circle, it raises the whole thing up, it opens out the little lip, drops it back down. So for driving on and off, there's no gap, the lip's fine, and then you can do the reverse to unload, which is brilliant. So I thought, well, okay, it says dock leveller, there's no, you can't do it incrementally. It's either done or it isn't. So I thought, well, if it comes into contact with another side, will it automatically level? So if you've got something that's a little bit higher or a little bit lower, will it automatically adjust for it? The answer is no. <laughs> because I opened up the side of this and I thought, well, I wonder if you were, you know, not that you would necessarily want to, but you might decide for trailers or other things, you know. You know, like I did, you think, I wonder, I'm sure other people will. If you bring something alongside that's not the same height, the fact it raises, will it adjust? And I think it's just too strong. <laughs> that's not perfectly level, but anyway, don't worry about that. If I do it now, it will raise and it will lower, but it does this. It brings it right the way back down again. It doesn't kind of find the new level and go, oh, I'll stop there. It goes, oh, I know what I'll do. <laughs> Let's yank the whole trailer down until it's at the same level as us. I mean, it kind of works, but not not the way it should. It should be done from the back. That's the whole point of it. But I like the animation on that. I like the way it works. Cool bit of kit. You'll find this under build mode. This is under tools. 4,350. Slot count will come down from 5 to 1. For any subsequent one you place after that. Nice. By Pascal Counts. Moving on, we have got the pigsty. This is by Mephew FS. This is 12.14 megabytes download, 100 um, pigs this will hold. It's 18 slots, which isn't too bad. The price is pretty good too, I think it's 50 grand for 100 pigs. Can't really odds that. Feed goes in here, you back up and your feed goes in. Uh, we can take our slurry out of here. Nice that you can see in to what's going on. Water is automatic, obviously I think you, you get charged. Uh, light switches there on the outside for lighting. 
Uh, dialogue box is there for your hundred animals in, out, loading or unloading, but we do have a door to open as well. You need to open that door because the straw trigger for the bedding is just inside the door here. You can open this side one here as well if you want to go in there for... I'm not sure why, but you can. Uh, and then we've got the storage area to the sides here if you want to put pig food pallets and stuff like that. We do have a light switch here as well. Um, I did put an additional manure heap to the side because obviously you've got straw in there, you've got feed in there and once they start producing manure it needs to go somewhere so I put the manure heap separately that doesn't come with it. This you will find again under build mode, under animals, under pigs. Yeah, 50 grand for 100. And when you think the pasture, open pasture is only 30 pigs for 28 grand. Then it goes up to 109 for 108. So yeah, 50 grand. Not to be sniffed at. If we go into our menu here and go up to our animals, you will see productivity is now growing up. Slurry is going in. Be careful. It's not something I covered when I did the animal videos. If I do pigs for my animal videos, I tend to just put pig food in. But the, a change to FS19 from FS19 is that before on FS19, you could go and get your base food of corn and fill up and your base food would fill right to the end. Then you could go and get whatever grain, your wheat, your barley, whatever, and you could put that in and it would fill it right to the end. That's not the case anymore. You've got a total amount, which is that green bar. This one says 53,975. Your feed has to be split. You have to do that yourself now. Um, if I fill the first one up of corn, and that goes to 53,000, it will then not let me put anything else in, which means I cannot increase my effectiveness because I put too much of one thing in. So you have to kind of meter it out. That's the same with the, the cows. If you don't do total mix ration, you have to do the same with that. The horses, I found... Um, I can't remember who it was. There was a couple of people that messaged me just to warn me. And I thought, you know what, I haven't mentioned it, so I'll mention it now. So just be wary of that. If you're putting pig food in, it's not a problem. As you can see, it splits it. If you're doing TMR for, for cows, it will do the same thing. It just puts it in, it's all good. But if you are putting in separate ingredients, you just need to be a little bit more careful. That's all. Um, so that's the pigsty by Matthew F.S. Oh, yes. Let's go and look at something very, very cool. And it's this, and it seems fairly innocuous, but it really, really isn't. This is the farm supply pack, the farm supply pack by the Lort. If you remember this from FS19, I loved this on Attingham Park. 4.72 megabytes download. Each pallet is two slots. The pricing is phenomenal. I'm hoping it's going to get an update. I'm hoping it's going to get a bit of a tweak. Not. I've got to be careful here. The previous version of this was awesome because each pallet is 5,000 litres. Each pallet only costs a 1,000. So what you're getting for the price is astounding. And the options of what you get, fertiliser, 5,000 litres of solid fertiliser for a grand. Car nods it. The pricing is well. Same with the pig food. I've put these in, pig food potatoes. If you're doing planting of potatoes, it's cheaper than buying seed. 5,000 litres of potatoes for a grand. No brainer. Um, I was right that time. Uh, we go down here and we go to our pallets. Actually, I want to just check something. No. <clears throat> go to our pallets. We scroll across till we get to them. So we start there. So I say one grand. Each one's a grand. Each one's 5,000 litres. Awesome. Now, again. If you don't like it, if you think it's cheating, if you think it's not fair, you don't have to use them. If you want to go ultra-realistic and you want to pay more realistic prices and be more immersive, absolutely, there's loads of modded versions, there's the standard in-game ones, you can go with those. But if you want you know, if you know, want to get a bit more bang for your buck and you want to get better pricing, this is the way to go. Barley pallet, canola pallet, chaff, maize, oats, potato, soybean, sunflower, wheat, silage, straw, sugar beet, Sugar cane, fertilizer, that's the one for me. The pig food as well. Chicken feed, mixed ration, tom mixed ration, 5,000 litres for a grand. Tom mixed ration is not normally too expensive anyway from the buy anything silos, but that's not bad. The pig food is the one that's incredible. You're not going to get it any cheaper than that anywhere. Um, but there's no seed. If there was a seed pallet on here as well, if there was 5,000 litres of seed for a grand, so, I mean, you're, to me, sold anyway. It doesn't matter. It's a brilliant bit of kit um, or brilliant pack just for the ones you can do. So, yeah, um, would I say game changer? 
Yeah, potentially. Cheapest chips. Awesome. That's the farm supply pack by the Lort. Moving on. We have this, and I'm going to say it again, this is the KUHN and John Deere Mower Pack. This is by Nico Do 55 It is 22.13 megabytes download. Now, I've got one representation from each of the sections here. We have got a 3.3 meter front mower and a 9.9 .9 meter butterfly. Then there's a 3.3 .3 front mower, slightly different design, with an 8.8 .8 meter butterfly. And then we've got, was it 3.1? We've got a 3.5 metre, then two 3.1 metre rear mowers. Now, they're duplicates. So, there's a... Yeah, there's the KUHN and a John Deere version of that. There's the same with that, and the same with the back ones. You'll see when we get into the menu. Um, they work like mowers do. I mean, there's not really much else to say. Um, none of the, neither of the butterfly mowers have the option for swathing. They're just standard mowers. And you can't set these up in a triple mower setup. So have three on the front or three on the back. You've got a three-point link there, a three-point link there. There's none on the back, so you can't do these in a triple mower setup. Um, there's not really much else to say about them. Like I say, they, they mow. You've seen mowers used before, I would imagine. Um, but we go to our tools and we go to mowers so the f3525f and the f350r are identical mowers just one is in that um manufacturer's colors that is in that one then we've got the fc10030 and the r990r again identical mowers just in the different manufacturer's colors Pricing, 13500 48500 That's the 3.3, that's the 9.9. .9. The first ones I showed you. Then we move on to the other ones. We've got the FC313F, which is also a 3.3, 15 grand. And the FC883, which is the 8.8 .8 metre butterfly mower. And then the identical mowers, but in John Deere colours, the 131 and 381. Price is the same, slot counts are the same, mowers are the same, just different colours. Then when we go to here, we've got the GMD3511 for 10 grand. That's a 3.5 metre rear mower, but there's no John Deere equivalent with that. I don't know if that's been missed off or if it's been done on purpose, I don't know. Um, and then we've got the 3.1 metre FC314FF and the 331, they're identical. Both 3.1 metre rear mowers. Slot counts are threes and fours on all of them. The pack itself, did I say it was 22.13 megabytes download? Probably. Um, I mean, we'll, I'll show them. Unfolding, show the animations. Mowing's mowing, but we'll hook up anyway. It does have the scoops on the back, but they're not adjustable. What this one does have, which is something a little bit different, is if I do that can raise those up so you can actually see the everything doing its thing underneath but that's the only option turn that off and then if we do the John Deere one eight point eight meters a little bit narrower no adjustments other than that on this one. To the front as well. Didn't do the front on that one, but they unfold. They raise, they lower, they mow. Turn the inch off of that. And then the way I got one of the rear mowers just again as a representative item. Uh, if we turn it on, unfold the mower, swings out. I turn on, raise and lower. Nice animations on all of them. Fold the mower back again. That is the KUHN and John Deere mower pack by Nico Do 55.
Splendid. Moving on from there, we have got the also La Campagne, Campagne pack. This is by Valentin Lecou, I think it is, and Nico do 55. It's 65.67 megabytes download. There are four trailers um, that look like that. They're 14 slots each. We've got the 60 slash 21, the 71 24, the 76 29, and the 85 32. We'll have a look. All the options on all four are the same. The only difference is capacities. That's all it is. So I went for, I think, the large one, the 8532. Yeah. And then we've also got this here, which I love. Did I put it on the screenshot? I might have done. This is the SPR 255. This is six slots. Um, it's a bale trailer or pallets or whatever you want to put on it, but it's got a cut, an optional cover, and the cover can be raised and lowered to cover whatever you put on it. I, I've never seen something like that in game before. Something different, and I like that. I've, I've said it before, I'll say it again. I do like it when something's a little bit different. So, under trailers, so as I said, we have got the 35,000 one, 42,500, 50 grand and 60 grand. And it is just capacities. Um, I think the higher end capacity on this one is 27,500. You'll see the different options available. The higher capacity on that one is 39,750. The higher capacity on that one is 42,830. And the higher capacity on that one is 48,160. I will show you the options on this one. So it starts off at 28,690. But then we can go with added sides. All of them have added sides and again slightly different capacities. So that increases the capacity. We can then go with that, which puts a slightly higher lip one side or higher lip that side. Then we can go with that, which puts lips both sides. Then we go with that. And that one, I don't know if you can see there, you've got the black pipes and stuff. That means that this side panel can raise and lower. If I do it again, it switches that to this side, which means that side panel at the top can raise and lower. Then we go up to the largest capacity. In all of them, the largest capacity will still take everything. It doesn't become a silage trailer. It still will carry absolutely everything. Then we've got tyre options. We've got Michelin, Trelleborg, BKT, Vraderstein, and back again. Michelin is the only one that's got two tyre choices. We've got the Cargo XBib or the XBib HF. The others don't have any other options. They just come standard like that. That's, again, the same on all of the trailers. Then design. We've got nothing. If I swing around that side... We've got ladder on the side, ladder on the front, front ladder with bridge, fender, which puts that slightly long fender along the side there. Uh, then you can have fender with side ladder, fender with front ladder, fender with front ladder and bridge, and then extra ender, so you get the little side bits, but then it also puts ends onto the fenders as well. Same thing with extra side ladder, with front ladder, with front ladder and bridge. And then back to nothing again. I think I went with that as an option. Then on the back, we've got the option. This, I mean, they're packed with options, but they are, like I say, I'm going to keep repeating it. They are the same on all of them. We've got a curved door. Curved door with pipe, which puts a little chute on the back of the grain door. We've got a double door. Double door with pipe. We've got a double door with ladder. Double door with ladder and pipe. Then we've got a straight, simple door with pipe. And then back to curved door again. So there's a few different door options. Then we can change colour from red, black, yellow, green, grey or blue. Like that. Licence plate option is also available if you wish to change your licence plate. I went for the high sides. Um, it, it's, like I say. I think if you'd have had all four of those on top of all the other options available it would have been just too much i think um so unload nice and smooth or we can do it from grain door and shoot if we want to as well great sound effects i don't think we can drop the ladder oh maybe we can unfold tipper no sorry take that back <laughs> i was waiting to show that bit um, we've got L1 and right stick up and down. We can adjust. Where's that adjusting? R1. There we go. R1 right stick up and down. So we can adjust the level of it. So we can level the whole thing off depending on what you're towing it with. Unfolding. Unfold tipper. Raises the whole thing up. 
So if you've got something a little bit high you need to unload to, you can raise it all up before you unload. Like that. Which is pretty cool, isn't it? it does have beacons. Fold this thing back down. I think. That's it. Yeah. So, there you go. That's the trailer side of things from with regard to like crops and things. As far as pallets and things go, this does have straps as you can see underneath. But the uh, pièce de résistance on this L1 and right stick side to side. <laughs> Look at that. So you can double stack, you can do whatever. Once you put your pallets under, you can then gradually lower it down to get to the correct height. Just protects everything in transport from inclement weather. This also does have flashing strobe beak on the back as well which I really like but yeah I mean it's just, it's only because I've, like I said, I've never seen one like this before I just I just like it <laughs> you do have adjustment as well of angle depending on what you've got towing it to very cool so that's the the, the Le Campagne pack by Valentin Le Coup and Nico Du 55. Moving on, we've got a set of trailers by Vertex Design, the Loma ZDK1802, 40.67 megabytes download. We've got the 1802 at 11 slots, we've got the 1802 Combi at 9 slots, and the 802 Uni also at 9 slots. As is always the case with Vertex Design stuff, the level of detail and intricacy on everything is incredible. The one I do like, I think, probably most, and that's just my own personal preference, is the first one, the 1802, because you do have the option of an auger attachment on the back, so you can have it for, well, an auger trailer, seed and fertiliser and stuff like that, for loading into tanks and cedars and whatever, makes it a really nice attachment. Um, they do all have trailer attachers and can all attach together, unless you've got the auger pipe. If the auger pipe's on there, the next trailer attaches too close and it catches on it. Um, but it does have a trailer hitch on the back there, just in case. The Combi is a little bit bigger. And the Uni is a little bit smaller. But the Uni does have this extra attachment. And we'll have a look at them anyway. A little sort of side catcher if you're putting into it from silage, um, forage harvest or something like that. you know, Or just an overload pipe or whatever it is that might be going into it. So again, you will find these under trailers. The Loma ZDK1802. 20 grand, slot count was 11, comes down to 1, takes pretty much everything. We've got the 600mm at 17,000 litres, the 800mm at 19,600 litres, then you can have the auger at 17,000, the auger at 19,600, you can have it as a bale trailer, which will have straps, then you've got cover, yes or no, well there's platform first, sorry, cover, no, platform, then cover, then off again. We'll set up standard wide communal Michelin Cargo XBIB, Vredestein Flotation Pro, back to standard. I think that's the same on all of them. Um, but yeah, you don't have to have the auger. We can take that back off again. Bail trailer and then to whatever you want to go with. Nice options. Uh, the ZDK1802 Combi, 25 grand. Slot count of nine comes down to one. This doesn't have the option for auger or anything like that. We've just got cover. Platform, platform and cover, or sorry, cover no, platform, platform and cover, and then the same wheel setups as the other one. This is 25,400 litres, no other options on that, you can't adjust that. And then the ZDK1802 Uni, 23 grand, slot count of nine, comes down to one. Same thing, no augers, no other adjustments, it's 19,200 litre, cover no, platform, platform uh, sorry, over blow protection with platform, platform and cover, back off again, same tyre options as well. If we hop into here, whoa. if we open the cover, like so. So we've got the option of tip side auger, we can tip side left. All right. So if you've got your auger on there, but you, you want to go and tip regular crop types, if you want to do that, you absolutely can. Left, right, and then auger. Auger opens the crane chute. 
whole thing gradually tips up. And unloads through the auger pipe. Very nice indeed. And like I said, the other ones are the same with regard to tipping. And as you can see, I've got these two connected just to prove not that it needs proving, but you know what I mean. Tip side left, tip side right, grain door on each one. It does say tension far tension fasten belts. Fasten tension belts. That's if you have it in the bail loading configuration, I think. I guess there aren't any in there as standard. But there you go. Nice set of trailers with great detail. Nice mods from Vertex Design. The Loma ZDK 1802 pack, really. Moving on from there, this I love right up my street. This is the Massey Ferguson 3000 series by Blower. 8.35 megabytes download, 15 slots on console. It starts with a was it 3095, which I think I had on. Oh man, what map was it? Can't remember. It was an FS17 one, um, but yeah, lovely looking tractor, really nicely made. A few options on it too. I mean, it seems like that. I just love the look of the, so the paint, the metallics, very nice indeed. So, you'll find this under small tractors. Third one in. 49,500, none of these are particularly expensive, but then the horsepower is not massive on these. It was never going to be. Yeah, 3095. Oh. Oakfield Farm. Is it Oakfield Farm? Might have been. Anyway, we've got Trelleborg, Michelin, Continental, Midas, BKT, Vredestein, Knockins. Knockins only have that communal. Trelleborg, we have standard wheel weights, wides, widen weights, narrows, rear twins, twins back to standard within all of the others we have combinations of those some don't have the narrows some don't have standards um that Midas and bkt start on wides i think but you'll see as we go through i won't read them all out but under michelin continental Midas. BKT, Vredestein, knock in, back to Trelleborg. Then we've got attachers, standard or front weight on the front. Front loader attacher, no, quick, hour or off. Then we've got engine size, 95 horsepower, 115 horsepower or 120 horsepower. Even the 120 horsepower one only takes up to six, 62 grand. Then the license plate option, if you wish. Lights. Oh, flappy top on the exhaust. Love that. Uh, under, where are we? L1 and R1. Left stick side to side. Opens the left door. Right stick up and down. Does the rear window. Those are your options on doors and windows. Is it not just gorgeous? Interior. Wonderful. There you go. Massive Ferguson 3000 series by Blauer. And then last for the mods for today, but by no means least, we have got these two, the Massey Ferguson 3700 and 4700 by Agrotron Modding. Uh, this is 19.33 megabytes download, 16 slots for the 3700 and 17 slots for the 4700. Slightly different, slight differences in the designs, slight differences in the options on each one of them. Both of them are really nice. I have to say the two of them, I think I prefer that one. I think... It's subtle differences, but I, yeah, I think I do. That's just me personally, but they do. Again, look very nice, very well made. 
These you'll also find on the small tractors. 3700, 43 grand for the base model. Trelleborg, Michelin, Continental, Midas, Vredestein, Nokian, and back under Trelleborg, we've got standard wides, wider weights, narrows, rear twin, twin, back. I think that's just pretty much the same. Yeah, this is the same as the other one. Some of them start with a wide only and don't have a standard. So wide, wide and weights. Uh, Continental, standard wide, wide and weights, wide two, wide and weights, narrows, rear twin, twin, back. Mitus starts on wide, wide and weights, wide two, wide and weights. Fredestein, wide, wide and weights, rear twin, twin, standard. Knock in, just a communal back to Trelleborg. Front of the attacher, quick. Or no. Then engine set up 75 horsepower, 85 horsepower, or 95 horsepower. Then the license plate option two, should you wish. Then the 4700, slight different, slightly different options on this as well. Front weight, yes or no. Trelleborg, Michelin, Continental, Midas, Vredestein, knock in and back under Trelleborg. So that looks more of a narrow than the previous narrow did. But it does have this option, which the other one didn't have, the rear narrow twin. But it doesn't have a twin option. Michelin doesn't have any options, just that. Continental. Midas doesn't have any options, just the wide. Vredestein. Nokian. About the Trelleborg. Front loader attacher, quick hour or no. Then engine size, 82 horsepower, 92 horsepower, or 100 horsepower. Those are your choices. Let's hop in this one first. I do think we have... Yes, we do. Uh, we've got unfold tractor L1 and X. Very nice option. L1, right stick up and down, does the rear window. So that one says raised crane arm, does the rear window. Under L1 and R1... Right stick, side to side, does the left door. Right stick up and down. Does left door and right door, yeah. Like so. Born, one beacon in the middle of the rear. Lights. It's weird because you've got the 3700 and the 4700, and to me, I mean, I know this is actually the smaller of the two, but the, the other one feels a little bit more diddy, is that the word? Dinky? It, I don't know. Turn the beacon off, hop into that one. I don't know what it is about it, it just seems a little bit more kind of squat. I don't know, anyway, anyway, lights, beacons, horn. I think we have the same options we do. Unfold tractor. Very cool. Raised crane arm. Does rear window. Nice animation. Then L1, R1. Doors, left and right. Very nice. Interior. Nice and tidy. Do I do the interior on the other one? It's not a huge amount of difference in all honesty, but there are, you know, for, for the, the modders, you know, I know when I say things like nice tidy interior, and I know a lot of these modders, when they make them, the level of detail and the time it's taken to make sure that the cabs look how they should, you know, it's very easy when you've done a lot of mod reviews to gloss over those things, but stopping to appreciate the fact that, you know, the modders have spent a lot of time. Yeah, I mean, it's a completely different interior. All the, the buttons and everything, it's, it's different, you know. It's very easy to say, oh yeah, look, you know, they're, they're almost identical. They're not. Appreciate it, people. Appreciate it. Appreciate what they're doing. Absolutely. You should. Um, again, another cracking set of mods. That's it for today, Wednesday the 30th of March. I hope you found this useful and informative in some way, shape or form. If you have... Please, could you give us a like? If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching.